We know that there are three primary states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Well, Microsoft claims to have developed a new state of matter as part of its efforts to build a quantum computer, an advanced machine that could drive breakthroughs in fields such as battery technology, medicine, and artificial intelligence. The tech giant embarked on this ambitious project in the early 2000s at a time when many scientists doubted the feasibility of such technology and it remains the company's longest running research initiative. With this breakthrough, the company has significantly raised the stakes for what could become the next major technological battleground, surpassing the current race in artificial intelligence. What exactly has Microsoft achieved and why does it matter for the future of quantum computing? Welcome to Territory. This is your space. Imagine a computer so powerful that it could precisely simulate the laws of nature. That is the potential of quantum computing. However, significant challenges have always stood in the way. Now, after decades of research, Microsoft has achieved a major breakthrough by taking a previously theoretical subatomic particle and not only observing it, but also controlling it. This has led to the creation of an entirely new state of matter, a revolutionary quantum computing architecture designed to scale to millions of qubits on a single chip. Even the most powerful traditional computers struggle to simulate small natural systems and solving just 30 to 50 electrons would take longer than the age of the universe. But a scaled quantum computer could tackle these problems efficiently, unlocking solutions to challenges beyond the reach of classical machines. At the core of a quantum computer are quantum bits, or qubits, the fundamental unit of information in quantum computing. Unlike classical bits, which are strictly zero or one, qubits can exist in a state of superposition, meaning they can be both zero and one simultaneously. Think of Schrodinger's cat, which is both alive and dead until observed. Now the three familiar states of matter are defined by how their atoms behave. But scientists have long theorized the existence of additional states, ones that could fundamentally change the way subatomic particles interact. Mathematicians predicted a topological state of matter over a hundred years ago. Within this state, researchers have been searching for a unique and elusive quasi-particle, known as the Majorana particle. Last year, Microsoft successfully observed it for the first time. Now they've taken a step further, controlling it and using its remarkable properties to create a revolutionary new material. The topo conductor, a hybrid of a semiconductor, and a superconductor. This breakthrough paves the way for an entirely new topological architecture for quantum computing, allowing Microsoft to scale from hundreds of qubits to millions on a single chip. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Majorana 1. So how does it work? The power of the Majorana particle lies in its unique nature. It is its own antiparticle. When two Majorana particles meet, they can either annihilate into nothing or remain unchanged, embodying the fundamental binary states of zero and one. This inherent stability makes them ideal for quantum computing, potentially solving one of the biggest challenges in the field, error correction. Majorana's properties allow for the creation of topological qubits, which are small, stable, and resistant to the noise that typically causes errors in quantum computing. With these qubits, Microsoft has built an entirely new quantum architecture, the topological core, capable of scaling to a million qubits on a single, compact chip. Every atom in this chip is placed with precision, making it a completely new state of matter, constructed meticulously, atom by atom. This unique approach allows for an ultra-dense form factor, packing over a million qubits into a small chip. But beyond just storage, this architecture ensures computations happen at an efficient speed, delivering solutions in a practical time frame. With its perfect balance of size, speed, and control, the topological qubit unlocks a new era of scalable and reliable quantum computing. But that's not all. Microsoft's quantum computing system is a hybrid model where quantum and classical computing work together. A quantum accelerator handles complex calculations, while a classical machine controls it and refines the results. This synergy enables ultra-precise simulations, especially in chemistry and material science, allowing scientists to design new materials with perfect accuracy before ever entering a lab. So what does this mean for us? A million qubit quantum computer could tackle fundamental challenges. 
designing new chemicals, creating revolutionary drugs, and engineering enzymes for sustainable food production. These breakthroughs, once thought to be distant possibilities, are now within reach. The unveiling of Majorana I marks the dawn of the quantum age, where innovation will reshape the very fabric of technology. This follows the release of Google's latest Willow chip, introduced in December last year as an experimental quantum computer capable of solving a calculation in just five minutes, one that would take even the most advanced supercomputers over 10 septillion years to complete, far exceeding the age of the known universe. Not only that, Google has also made an eyebrow-raising claim, saying that its new quantum chip may be tapping into parallel universes to achieve its results. In other words, Google claims its chip is so fast that its computations might have occurred across parallel universes, a bold assertion that has also sparked significant skepticism. So what is the science behind this bold claim? Willow is Google's latest venture into quantum computing, a chip that harnesses the strange, counterintuitive principles of quantum mechanics to tackle problems beyond the reach of classical computers. But Willow isn't just about superposition. Google's researchers have made bold claims, stating that Willow can handle more complex problems with speed and efficiency, orders of magnitude greater than anything we've seen before. And here's where it gets really intriguing. Quantum error correction. For quantum computers to be practical, they must address errors, an issue classical computers don't face as much. The quantum states in a qubit are incredibly fragile. They are easily disrupted by heat noise or even cosmic rays, causing information loss. This is where quantum error correction becomes essential. Previously, the lack of error correction has been a significant obstacle to scaling quantum systems. But Google believes Willow has solved this challenge. With a new quantum error correction method, Willow could make quantum systems more reliable, enabling them to tackle complex problems and usher in a new era of computing. One of quantum computing's most exciting aspects is its ability to perform parallel computations. Thanks to superposition, qubits can exist in multiple states simultaneously, allowing quantum computers to process many possibilities at once. This could enable them to solve problems in mere moments that would take classical computers millions of years. Picture solving a giant puzzle. A classical computer would test one piece at a time, trying different combinations. A quantum computer, on the other hand, could test multiple combinations simultaneously thanks to its parallel processing power. Now, imagine taking this further. What if quantum computers didn't just process calculations in parallel, but explored multiple possible outcomes simultaneously, rapidly identifying the optimal solution? That's the real breakthrough. With quantum error correction and a system like Willow, these calculations could be faster, more reliable, and more precise than ever before. Are we tapping into parallel universes? The ability to explore multiple possibilities at once resonates with the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, a theory suggesting that every quantum event creates branching timelines of outcomes. While this remains speculative, Google's bold claim is drawing a lot of skepticism online. For one, the calculation Willow was designed to solve didn't have any immediate practical applications. The particular calculation in question is to produce a random distribution. German physicist Sabine Hossenfelder tweeted in response to Google's announcement. The result of this calculation has no practical use. It's exactly the same calculation that they did in 2019 on a circa 50 qubit chip. At the time, Google made a similar claim, arguing that it had achieved quantum supremacy or the point where quantum computers can do things that classical computers can't, regardless of whether those tasks are useful. As John Preskill, who first coined the term in 2012, wrote in a 2019 Quantum Magazine column. The implications and significance of Google's breakthrough remain up for debate. However, the company is already focused on the future, aiming to scale up Willow to a level where it could prove genuinely practical. I, for one, am very hopeful about Willow. What about you? Let me know by commenting below. And don't forget to subscribe to Territory, because this is your space.